Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the core process problem A that is satisfying constraints. Okay, <clears throat> that is a simple problem we are given. So Alex is solving this problem. He has n constraints on what the integer k can be. Okay, so there are three types of constraints. K k must be greater than or equal to some integer x. Okay, k must be less than or equal to some integer x. K must be not equal to some integer x. So there are three types of constraints, right? So help Alex to find the number of integers k that satisfy all n constraints. So it is guaranteed that we have a finite answer, and it is also guaranteed that no two constraints are the exact same. So that is the condition. So we are given. So <clears throat> so let's discuss the input. So if a is equal to one. Then k must be greater than or equal to x. A equal to two. K must be less than or equal to x. A equal to three. K must not be equal to x. Okay. So this is the simple case. So we need to discuss example. So what we have in the first case, we are given a a one and x. That is three. So that is a and x. Right. In a and x, that means k. The first condition. What is the first condition? If you want to see, first condition is k must be greater than or equal to x. Okay. So number less than three. Number less than three. We can't have. Like we can't have one and two. Okay. These are eliminated. Second case. A equal to two and three. That means number can't be greater than equal to ten. Okay, so all the numbers beyond this are eliminated. Now the case is three, three and one. We can't have one number, and that is already eliminated. So we need not to worry about this. Right. So okay. So now we have three and five. That means three is the condition and five. Like. In this condition, what are the possible numbers? We have uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and ten. Okay, so now we have this x equal to five, and we can't have this, so we need to delete this, and that's the end of the condition. So. How many number we are left with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So answer is seven for this test case. So let's see one more example for better understanding. So in the second example, we have a and x. Let it right here. So we have mm, one and five. One and five. That means number should be greater than five. So that means less than five are eliminated. These are not possible, right? Second case, greater than four. That means greater than four are eliminated. So do you have a possibility? That any number that is smaller than five, smaller than four, okay, and greater than, and it should not be like we can't include that number. That is the case. So, like here, what are the possible numbers? We have five, six, seven. These are the possible numbers. According to this condition, what are the possible numbers? One, two, three. For these are the possible numbers. Okay, so do you have an intersection between these? No, you can't. Have. There is no intersection between these numbers. That means you don't have any numbers. That is why answer is zero. Are you getting? That is quite simple. So what will be your logic to solve this question? Okay. So your concept should be: you need to define two numbers. One that is small, one that is large. 
ओके इनिशियली वर्ड दिट स्मॉल विल बी स्मॉल विल बी दी मिनिमम नंबर पॉसिबल लेट इट बी मिनिमम नंबर इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी लेट इट बी एंड द लार्ज नंबर इज पॉसिबल प्लस इन्फिनिटी ओके सो नाउ वी हैव ए एंड एफ what you need to do and you also need one vector i will explain why we need this vector okay a and x we have two numbers okay so if this a is 1 that means the numbers allowed are should be greater than this case the first case greater than or equal to x right so we can have the this maximum number so what we need to do we need to update this as equal to max of this s comma x this is the case and if suppose this a is equal to equal to 2 then what you need to do you need to update l equal to minimum of L, comma x. Why we are doing that? We are doing this to like shrink our target size, shrink the size. Okay. So we need to do this. And if if a is equal to equal to three, if that is the case, what you need to do? You need to append append the element. append the element in this vector so b dot push back x in the array now now after this like there is possibility what is that possibility if if this is small number the s if s is somehow greater than l that means we don't have we can't have intersection because we are thinking that s is the small number and l is the larger number but here is, what is the case s is the greater one so that means like there are no possible solution so your answer will be zero in this case and else what is the case else your answer will be else your answer will be L minus S plus one. Okay, but there is a catch. What is that catch? You have a numbers in B that should not be included. That is your answer. This answer. So what you need to do? You need to do just simply make a loop in this vector i in B, and you just need to check if 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 This number i is greater than equal to s, and at the same time, at the same time, i is less than equal to l. If that is happening at the same time, what we need to do? We will do answer minus minus. Why? Because in at the third case, we can't consider that number. That number should not be equal to that particular x. So we need to delete that. so this answer will be your final output hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel and keep coding